Hey everyone, welcome back to the Trailline channel. My name is Richard Moglin. I'm here with Ross Haber. And today we're continuing on with our chart of the week series, um, going through the market indexes based on Ross's perspective. Um, and this is the exact same thing that we do for the top 10 report, which is Ross's weekly newsletter uh, covering market analysis as well as his top ideas for that upcoming week. So uh, with that said, if you're interested in that, click the link down below in the description. Um, and let's dive right in, Ross. I'd love to just kind of hear your overall thoughts on the market indexes, as well as the overall health and breadth of the leadership. All right, well, we'll, we'll keep it short and sweet. Um, market followed through roughly two weeks ago um, and yeah. had acted okay, well, yeah. you, well yeah. enough until the middle of last week, right? We had a, right. a distribution day pop up on the NASDAQ. It was a below average one. Um, leadership had been at least holding up and in proving a little bit, right? So anytime I can see le the, the positive divergence towards leadership relative to a distribution day or maybe a little ugliness in the general market, I'll always lean on what I'm seeing um, leadership wise. Anyway, on uh, Thursday last week, that all came to an end in a hurry, right? So all of the indexes ultimately um, fizzled out at, you know, where logical resistance on there, you know, with respect to that index, volume picked up, it rolled over, um, you know, broke whatever little short term uptrend was going, if I'm not mistaken, they probably they both undercut the lows of their follow through days. Technically, that doesn't mean anything. Um, we're under heavy pressure for it to be officially um, broken. We we need to take out the low of the, the rally. Rally day. Um, yeah. So anyway, long story short, the deck is cold, right? Um, we're far from a hot deck. Uh, the few stocks that were holding up, let's call them, you know, they, we, it looked like we had some hope in the uh, semiconductor sector, um, you know, across the equipment and chip manufacturers. Um, and NVIDIA was no help to, you know, to that. Yeah, that do you want to bring up the chart of NVIDIA? Sure, for us, I mean, we can up? just look at, you know, the two, like Nvidia, AMD, you know those those big ones that uh, yeah. you know that kind of uh, really nail put the nail in the coffin on Friday. That definitely did not help things, right? When you see the Nvidia, you're hoping that it's going to work here, and sure enough, um, into a declining fifty it, day and right, and right, it's down, into yeah. the decline, right? So it's uh, it, it make you think twice. It the 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 risk reward here. It's not, so, you know, not so great, right? We've been living under the 50 day. We're trying to hold it, but right here, we've got a lot of work to do at a bare minimum, I yeah. would say, right? So it was holding up, you know, I guess what we what we would have loved to have seen, right? If we could write it on Thursday, is a Thursday push, right? Big one, maybe near 300, a volume dry up, I'll you know, if we could draw, but this is exactly the opposite of what we wanted to see, right? A right. failure rollover, the indexes did it, a ton of the leaders did it. The few that did hold up, barely held up right some of them held up a little like if you want to say this was short term up trend line the best the best of the best maybe held yep. up at their short term moving averages and and maybe near a consolidation pivot um my guess is the uh ones that held up will get their butts kicked next week just that's typically what will happen the few that were holding up most of it fell apart so i mean other than you know oil gas and coal is all over the big you know up on volume um right. relative strength lists there was well you know i say believe it or not i say it to myself and ray but yesterday i was uh talking to ray about i'm like man this this top 10 report i i think i'll be lucky if we find three names to put at the top um we actually found 11 that were holding up you know to and again they're not buys but i will i will put um that top 10 section, I, I will keep loaded with at least where I'm seeing relative strength. So, right. you know, when when we're talking about being in cash, we're in cash, but I'll at least in that report, um, stay very closely on top of where leadership is, rotation is, and um, at least where to keep your watch lists focused in case we start to see evidence of, uh, you know, something more than spotty strength here and there. Um, right. Where are we, Richard? So here, don't let me um, go off into uh, the abyss. Yes. So uh, yeah, just uh, overall be flexible. Um, this isn't a time to be really 
putting on huge exposure if you're going to be taking positions, uh, manage risk accordingly, keep everything tight, um, and uh, try to preserve that mental and financial capital so you're ready. When we finally do get a character change, we see uh, not just select leaders, but groups of leaders acting well, moving up the right-hand sides of their bases. And when that occurs, um, any future fall through day uh, in that environment is much more uh, high probability than the one we just had. So uh, with that, I, I think we'll pretty much call it there. Keep this video nice, short and sweet. Um, and and uh, listen, hope, let me point yeah. out like like on, on just super simple. We had yeah. our um, follow through day here. But let, let's just take a quick look. What happens as we're trying to rally and then immediately when we break? I mean, that's just, right. you know, volume fizzles. We we diet, we we try, you know, we can't, we kind of fizzle out here twice. Volume picks up, worth it, you know, so there's just nothing pretty about it. That 14th, that anywhere that it could have possibly held, it didn't. So right. just uh, anyway, I just want to, sometimes it's just as simple as that. You've got the fizzling volume on the way up, the big increase on the way down. You're breaking key levels of support. Um, that's that 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 is not a deck you want to play with. Period. Right. You're gonna lose money. It's you're, the math says so. So you right. might do, beat it for a little bit for a short amount of time, but over time, the market will steal your money if you're trying to buy stocks in this environment. Perfect. So, so yeah, anyway, wait. I just wanted to, you yeah. know, sometimes it's just, it's very simple right there. You look at those few simple things and go, that's not a hot deck. I will do anything but sit in front of my screens tomorrow. Thank you. And stay on top of relative strength. But honestly, keeping an updated list of leadership to keep your eye on, to, to keep your finger on the pulse of the market, you can do that at the end After of the, the close. day in 20 or yeah. 30 minutes. I mean, it's not, it's not a, a huge task, so. Perfect. I'll end it there now. I'll shut up. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, yeah. Stay optimistic. Be ready for the next uptrend. And uh, yeah, once again, preserve that mental and financial capital. That's super, super important. Um, and with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and leave a like down below and check out the top 10 report if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks.